Hello, friends, and welcome back to Kids Blam, where each week children and tweens get together to dance and sing and praise God through music, hear one Bible story, and talk about it a little bit. Today, we continue with the story about the man named Paul that we met last week. You may recall that last week, Paul was acting like a bully. And then Jesus shone his light down upon Paul, and Paul was forever changed. Paul became a follower of Jesus and a leader of the uh, other followers of Jesus. I also brought this basket. In the story today, Paul is going to have an experience with a basket that is very unique. I hope you like it. But before we hear the Bible story, let's get up and sing All Are Welcome. Be sure you watch the dance moves of the Deep Blue Kids. See you in a few minutes. It looks like him. I wonder if Cat knows he's here. Hi there, kids. What you looking at? It looks like Cinnamon found a nice view of the park. What do we do? I guess I'll need to try to get him down. I don't have my ladder with me, but maybe I can climb up there and reach him. Cinnamon! Where are you? There you are! I was going to take Cinnamon to the vet for his checkup, and he ran away. 
It was almost like he knew I was taking him there. Jack is going to try to get him down. Oh, thank you so much. I wish I had a basket to lower him down in. Kids, I think there is a story about the Apostle Paul who had to be saved by being lowered down a city wall in a basket. Not long after Paul was visited by Jesus and his eyes were opened, Paul began preaching in the synagogues. Paul told the people, Jesus is God's son. The people were confused because Paul used to be mean to the followers of Jesus. Now he was preaching the good news of Jesus. Paul continued to preach and teach the people that Jesus is the son of God. But there were some people who didn't trust Paul and wanted to hurt him. They waited for him at the gates. When Paul found out what their plan was, he decided to leave the city. But Paul needed help. His friends came to help him. Paul's friends put him in a basket and lowered him down the city wall. Paul was saved by his friends. He was able to get away without being hurt. I wonder if Paul was afraid. I know I would be. Me too. But God took care of him. That's right. God kept Paul safe. And I was trying to keep Cinnamon safe by taking him to the vet to get checked out. But now he's stuck up in that tree. Well, let's see if I can help out and get him down. Hey, where'd he go? Oh no! He ran away again! Great! I'm gonna have to go looking for him. Look! There he is! Aw, he came down on his own. What a good kitty. All right! Come on, Cinnamon! I want to protect you and keep you safe, Cinnamon. I won't ever let anything happen to you. I love you. Who helps you stay safe? Did you see the basket in the story? Did you find it? Wasn't it amazing the way Paul's friends helped him get out of the city? I made a craft to remind myself about this story. And I'm going to start with the with Paul up here. So here's the side of the, the town, the town wall. And here's Paul's friends. And here's Paul. And they lowered him to the ground so that he could get away, right? Now, I don't think this sounds like a very safe thing to do. And so I don't want to hear that any of you put your head out a window or got in a big basket. But if you're like me and you like crafts, let me know. Ask your parents to email me and I'll send you this craft. Right now, let us fold our hands and bow our heads and close with prayer. Dear God, we thank you for the example of friendship that Paul's friends provided. We pray that you will be with each of our friends here in Glam, in our community, in our country, and in the whole wide world. Please keep them safe and healthy. Amen. I'll see you next week. <laughs>